okay. I love to have birthdays. Hey, you like to, to have birthday. Good. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Oops. Me perdí. I don't know. <laughs> Where am I? Where are you? Why why did you get lost? Oops. What is the matter here? Well, I can see the teacher. I don't know if he can see. <laughs> we can we can see you. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, so we are three right now. So what are the others? Okay, you may start the conversation. Let's do something. You know what? You need to practice. So let's use a tool. Okay, I'll share with you a link that I love. Now, I want you to make a question to a classmate, whichever question, but make sure that you know the grammar. You know, for example, uh, the first question that I have is, will you rather have to sit all day or stand all day? Mm. No, you haven't started. Will you rather have you? No, no right? We haven't. No. No, 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 not yet. Okay, okay. So, then you can click on the orange button. Do you prefer cats or dogs? Orange button? Which one? <laughs> There's a link on your WhatsApp. Okay, and that that's a, I love that page. I use that page on advanced models where the only um, goal is to speak. So Jenny, I cannot see your face. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's better. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. So, let's go. You may you may throw a question. Throw a question to any of your classmates. But you think would you rather? Would you rather? No. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Another. Let, me, let me show you something really quick. I'm not supposed to, but I don't care anymore. Hold on. I know this is very useful for you and I find it very didactical. So here, you see my, my screen? Yes. Okay, yeah. so you can click on this orange button, okay? And change the question. Random questions. This is just icebreakers. It's just icebreakers. So every time you click on this orange button, you will get another random topic to talk about. Just any question. So next question. What is your favorite holiday? Oh. I have to stop, sorry. Okay, so what is your favorite holiday? Favorite holiday? Oh, in my case is uh, Christmas. Christmas, why? Because, um, I don't know. Uh, I like to to celebrate the Chris Chris uh, Jesus Christ's birth birthday. Jesus birth. Yeah. Birthday, yeah. Jesus birthday. Okay. How about you, Jenny? What's your favorite holiday? Uh, my favorite uh, holiday is uh, in August. 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 Uh, yes. Okay. Why? Because it's my. For my birthday in in this week, my birthday. Your, I'm sorry. You have vacations on those days, or your birth date? Yes, in this oh, in this. On those really? days. Yes. So do I. Uh -huh. So in do August. you. In a, in August, really? When yeah. is your birthday? It's in uh, August 2nd. August 2nd? Yeah. August 2nd. How about you, Sandra? The Monday is August 6th. August 6th wow. is my <laughs> son. My, my, my son's birthday is August 6th. Oh, that's nice. He's, he becoming, he's becoming 13th. 13. 13th. Wow. Yeah. Difficult age. 
It's really big. <laughs> okay, so that good was. Evening. Hey, good evening. Good welcome, evening. welcome, Eduardo. Welcome, Joaquin. Everybody, Jacqueline. Okay, <laughs> so let let me generate another question. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what do you do for fun? Listen, what do you do for fun? What do you now, do? remember yesterday we were talking about intercultural exchange, right? Yes. Intercultural exchanges. So this could be um, a very common question if you go to another country. What do you do for fun here? So what do you do for fun in El Salvador? What do you do for fun in Soyapango? What do you do for fun in Mexicanos? Okay, so let me go with Jacqueline, Stephanie. Jacqueline, what do you do for fun? Uh, I I I like read books, teacher. I like to read books. Read books. Yes, teacher. What kind of books? Uh, uh, I I prefer uh, uh, all all kinds of books. All kinds of books. Okay. Yes, teacher. But but which ones are your favorites? Uh, El Diario de Ana Frank is my favorite. Oh book. My God, really? Yes, teacher. That's a dance lecture. Now yes. read it. Read it in English. Okay, teacher. <laughs> uh, yes, teacher. Uh, I like. I I feel better than yesterday. Awesome. You, That's great. Okay, Eduardo, what do you do for fun? Yes. What do you do to have fun? You know, like. When you're born, what do you do for fun? Uh, I like uh, uh, listening to music. Listening to music, okay. Music, yeah. And the, the difference, the difference, um, um, the different artists. Different artists, different musicians. Yeah. Okay. Balas, uh, balas, rock. Rock the lads, okay. Yeah. From the 80s, okay. That's good. English, I hope. Yeah, English. <laughs> okay. Next question goes to Joaquin. Joaquin, what did you do on your most recent birthday? What did you do on your most recent birthday? Uh, okay, teacher. Um, my recent event uh, birthday was in June. <coughs> and my little son uh, born in June 11. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And what did you do on your last birthday? Uh, we went. We went to. Pizza Hut and celebrate my the, her his bitter her birthday. Wait, but it's your well, birthday yeah. or your her, his birthday. His, your son's birthday. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. And only with my family and some friends. Hmm. Okay. Easy. Can you make the question to Rosa Maria? Yes. Rosa Maria, <laughs> Rosa Maria, Sorry. what did what did you do in your last week? Mm, last, on your most recent and on your most recent event, birthday. A birthday. I remember that uh, my friends uh, they they didn't. In party, and I never, 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 I, I never, but I, I was very, very happy because uh, they give me cake and soda and. In, um, I was was very happy. Excellent. Okay, 
I think you were trying to use the past perfect, Rosamaria. I had never, <laughs> I had never had a surprise birthday party. Listen, I had never had a surprise birthday party. I think that's what you wanted to say, right? Yeah, that's present perfect. I had never okay. had a surprise birthday party. Birthday. I have never had a surprise birthday, birthday party. Uh huh. Yo nunca había tenido una fiesta right? It was very nice. They gave me, don't forget, if you're speaking in past, all you have to do is focus, focus on the verbs. They go in past. Every time you start a new sentence, it goes in past. It goes in past. Last question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, this is a very extensive question. I'm going to start with Karen Rodriguez. Welcome, Karen. Good evening. Hello. <laughs> Happy to be here. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay, Karen, do you read reviews about a movie before deciding? whether to watch it or not? Yes, I, I try to read um, the, uh, what, what is the meaning or, um, what is what is about the movie? What is what is it about? To find out yeah. what is it about? What it is about? What's the movie about? What's the movie about? Okay. Hmm. I can say it, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I take my decision in um, regarding the actors, or if I'm going to the movie with my son. Well, my son decide what movie we are going to see. So, <laughs> okay, not more choice. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I want you to think about synonyms for a word that Karen said decide. What is a synonym for decide? Decide, uh, uh, synonym, choose, choose. Mm, choose. Mm, choose, okay. Chose, choose, okay. Choose. Another one? Um, think about? Mm. No. Mm. Now, this is the last step of the thinking, of the decision-making process. The decision-making mm. process. Take a decision. Karen, that's a good topic for you in management. decision I'm sorry. To take a decision. Uh, that's the last stage of the decision making, decision taking process. And there's there's a, a process. Hold on. Decision making process. It, it's a topic on management on how to take a decision first. I mean, there's a, it's a whole process, but you can find it online decision making process and, and to decide is the last it is the previous stage before taking action it's taking action is the last okay so decision decide choose make up or take a decision what jenny make up your mind to take Sandra, a decision good. take yeah. a decision take a decision before i take a decision yeah Make up my mind, make up your mind. My mind or your mind. This is a an idiom. Yes. Make up make up someone's someone's mind. Okay. Make up to make up someone's mind. Um when you're at the supermarket, ladies, with your husband, and you ask him to decide. <laughs> what coffee to take home yeah and he spends one hour thinking about the coffee then you can tell him make up your mind mm -hmm. make up your mind would you please make up your mind 
make up your mind. Okay, make make up my mind. I need to make up my mind. She always makes up her mind and like takes a long time to make up her mind. Right? So it's a different way of sounding more natural, not just I need to take a decision. Okay. Good. So what was the question for Karen? I, I already forgot. Reading reviews about a movie, would you make the question to someone else, Karen, so we can close this round of questions? I'm sorry. You <laughs> I'm make... feeling lost. <laughs> okay. Can you make the question to one more person? Danielle hasn't spoken. Um, okay, okay. Mm. Just, just Danielle has spoken, I think. And Daniela, Ailey. Let me choose someone that Sandra has, has the either. camera off. Hey, I like it. I like that. Ailey? Okay. <laughs> Ailey? Yes. Do you read reviews about a movie before deciding whether to watch it or not? Yes, because I like the story. I see. If uh, and it's not, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> um, hmm. uh, it's not, I don't see the movie. <laughs> okay, good job. Ailey, thank you. Uh, well, first of all, let's see. Karen, you say watch it. Watch it. it. Cuando, el, cuando eso va como pronombre al final de la oración, o sea, siempre que es ese it va al final de la oración, es it. it. Mm, let's, talk, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay. Let me, tell, let me tell you about it. Let when I'm going to use it, it like it? At repeat? the end, when it is a when it is a pronoun, not a subject, it is about it. It is about it. It's mm. about it. It's about it. Okay. It is about it. It 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 it. That's the difference. Subject it. Uh -huh. Object it. Okay. Let's see. I like the story. So, um, I, Ailey, you were trying to say. If I like the story, not history, remember, if I like the story, now in a movie, guys, just for general knowledge, uh, the story, the important part of the movie, it's called the plot, okay? If I like the plot, okay, I may watch it. I may watch it. I may watch it. If I don't like it, or if I don't, then I don't watch it. If I don't, then I don't see it. I don't watch it. Okay. Y ese es el condicional cero. Ojo, ya tendrían que saber el condicional cero. Okay. Presente simple. Simple present. Zero conditional. Okay. And so you can do a little investigation about it. Conditional zero. Okay. Let's go with today's topic. I just sent you um, a little chart right now about the topic for tonight. Today is what, Wednesday? We're done with you on Friday. So oh, let me just a minute. What? Now, phrases continue. Later. Yeah. yeah. Now, tonight we're going to cover uh, just noun phrases as subjects as a subject, okay? And remember when we said that you could use ing as a subject or as an object? Yes. Okay, so that's the idea. Okay, let's go here. So, so one thing um, I really miss. How do we do this? Hold on, let me share. Want to hide? And no, okay, no, it's not gonna work. I'm trying to hide this thing and it's not working. Go out, thank you. 
there we go. Okay, so one thing I really miss is my mom's cooking. Now, when do we use this? Uh, what is a relative clause, okay? And how we use it as subject. So can you make sense? If you notice, it says one thing I really miss, something I'd be nervous about, two people I, I would email every day, okay? So if you follow, if you try to make sense to these, uh, it's a little bit complex, but let's talk about the use of this grammar. Okay. okay, so noun phrases. What do you understand by a noun phrase? Let me see, let me see. What do you understand by a noun phrase? May I teach you? Yes, please. Okay, a noun phrase is when uh, the subject is a common noun instead of a, of a personal noun. Mm -hmm. Now you're landing the idea. Está aterrizando la idea. Estamos hablando de sujetos. Uh -huh. Ahora, thank you very much. Uh, vamos a ver. Un noun phrase se refiere a que el, la frase está ocupando en la posición del sujeto. Ok. Yeah. Ok. Entonces, um, ¿cuál sería el sujeto, en otras palabras, esa frase? Que va a reemplazar el sujeto en una oración ahorita sería one thing, one thing. something, uh -huh. two people. and two people. Ojo, eh. Si se fijan, eso está en paréntesis y no es obligatorio. Quiero explicar en español rapidito esto para que tenga sentido. Ok, esto es opcional. Ya sea que tú lo quieras ocupar o no, el that, el who, el that, ok. Los conectores pueden ser opcionales. Honestamente, de manera general, un americano no los ocupa mucho. ¿Ok? Porque está sobreentendido. O sea, en su propio idioma, él entiende, este sobreentendido para él, ese que. Recuerden que este that, ese who, ese that, ¿qué quería decir? ¿Quién, qué, cabal? Ok. Ahora. ¿Qué es la cláusula relativa? Es esto que sigue después del nombre, decía, del, del noun phrase. Después de la frase sujeto, como veíamos, one thing, something, two people, ¿ok? Viene una cláusula relativa que está compuesta, compuesta de mil maneras, ¿ok? Ahora, en este ejemplo, en estos ejemplos, estoy hablando de algo figurado. Y si se fijan, se está ocupando el modal would, que es específicamente para hablar de situaciones figuradas, de un futuro incierto, de algo irreal. Entonces, si se fijan en todos los ejemplos, vamos a hablar de, este, de estas frases eh, sujeto, de estas frases como sujeto. ¿Ok? Eh, cuando esta cláusula relativa incluso forma parte del sujeto. Ahora, ¿por qué? Porque estoy ocupando el verbo to be. Y según la fórmula, ¿ok? Si se fijan, siempre va a ir el verbo to be. Entonces, ya aterrizando la idea en general en, en cuanto a gramática, se podría decir que el sujeto el, la frase sujeto es el one thing, something, two people. Y la frase relativa, que es esta, serían como el sujeto, porque según el verbo to be, cuando ocupamos el verbo to be, es sujeto, verbo to be y complemento, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan de básico uno? Yes. yes. Ah, pues ahí está. Esa es la idea en general. Ahora, ¿cómo utilizo y para qué utilizo esto? ¿Quién me dice en sus propias palabras qué entiende de estos ejemplos? Vamos a ir viendo uno por uno. One thing I'd really miss 
It's my mom's cooking. Let's say that I go to Europe. And the question is, the question is, Sandra, what would you miss? What would you miss? Yes, the most. <laughs> the most, uh -huh, very good. The most if you go overseas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. One, one thing that I, I really miss is my cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, one thing that I would really miss that I would really miss is my cat. My okay. Cat. <laughs> one thing I really miss is my mom's cooking. Let me finish the examples and then I'll, I'll go with any question to you, okay? Something that I've been nervous about is making yes. new friends. What is the what is the question in that in that um in that sentence? What is the question? Who can make me the question? What question are what we answering? Make the question. You make, yes, yes. Make a new friends. Okay. okay, but what the is principal. the question? What is the question? Um, be, being answered what is the question being answered something mm -hmm. i'll be nervous about is making new friends what would you what will be make, make about to overseas hey walter good welcome walter oh. thank you teacher good night <laughs> good night good hey so what would you be nervous about mm -hmm. right there's a continuation of the previous question look what will you miss the most if you go overseas? Oh, I'll miss, uh, I will miss um, pan, La Panadería Rosario. I will miss La Panadería Rosario. Okay. What would you be nervous about? And meeting other people, making new friends. And I'll be nervous about, or, or something that I'll be nervous about is having to learn having to learn the, the routes. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's a, uh, a new job interview. Oh, having a new job interview, that's true. Okay, what is the next question? Two people I'd email or who I'd email or that I would email every day are my parents. So you went overseas, uh, you are nervous about making new friends. What is the next question? People, yeah, they mail every day. Who people would you mail every day? Mm. Janet, it's more simple actually. It's simpler. Oh, I said more simple. Oh my God. It's simpler. I made a mistake. Okay. Who would you who will you email every day? There you go. Uh, or who would you? Who will you? Email. Email every day. The most. Mm -hmm. eh. Who would you email the most? Okay, Janet. So you got it right. Two people I'll email every day are my parents. Okay. Do you have questions? No. Mm. So let's continue the idea to land to land this topic. So you went overseas, you are in London. Imagine, imagine the place of your dreams. Everybody has a fantasy, right? You have a fantasy where you want to live. For example, mine, mine is going to Ireland to Netherlands. I've always wanted to be in Netherlands. Mm -hmm. So I'll love to be there. So you're overseas now. What would you be nervous about? Meeting other people, having to talk to strangers. Not understand the people, not understand the not language. Not understanding the language, oh my God, it's true. Even if you already speak English, right? They, they have a different accent. Exactly. My God, I was listening to In Excess. Do you know In Excess, the band? No. no. Oh my God. 
Oh God, I just can't believe it. You don't know about Enexus. This is impossible. No way. Walter, Enexus? I don't know. <laughs> Never tears apart. Okay, I'll send you a link uh, to the chat later. But so their accent, they were Australian. They were Australians. Australians have very strong accent in English. It's different. Okay. English people too. English people too. They yeah. do. Okay. So you will be nervous about speaking English in different countries. Yeah. Okay. Get on the plane. I will be nervous about, hey, yeah. it's your homework. I will be nervous about getting on the plane. I will be. So after about, it's you can about. continue with a gerund, Walter. Yeah, that's true. That's amazing. Yeah, I didn't land that idea yesterday. Okay. And the last one is more <laughs> difficult, I will say. Who will you... Yeah. Who would you miss the most? Yeah. That's a difficult one. Who would you miss the most? Think about it. You are overseas, getting to know new people. Come on. I would miss my husband. Where? In the case that I go alone. I don't think you will go alone anywhere at this point. <laughs> I don't think it will allow you to go along anywhere. <laughs> I will you know? miss. I will miss eat pupusas. I will miss eating. Eat, eating pupusas. I will miss eating pupusas, man. Nah, really. You know, there's a chance. There's a chance that I go to Qatar in November for a month. Are you going to Qatar in November? maybe maybe i don't know i'm praying i'm praying but only god knows if that's gonna happen so but if it happens <laughs> i'm very nervous because i mean their culture is different it's very different yes yes you can, i don't drink i don't drink but you know they, how many days are you planning to go to qatar if it happens I'll mm -hmm. be I'll be working as an interpreter for a month. A month. Mm -hmm. wow. You are month. going to miss pupusas. <laughs> nah. yes. What is Qatar, teacher? What is Qatar? Uh, Emirates. Uh, hold on. Emirates. United. United Emirates. United United Emirates. I have some trouble. I have to learn how to pronounce that United faster. Emirates. United Emirates. Emir Emirates. That's right. Okay, so we have to learn this topic, and the best way to do it is continuing with the inter. Oh my God, what was it? Is the the the? Oh my God, what's the motto? I forgot the topic. Hold on, uh, the inter. <laughs> what was it? What is the motto? What's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> Water. Okay. Cross-cultural experiences, cross-cultural experiences, okay? So what would you miss if you go overseas? What would you miss if you go to, <gasps> yeah, if you go to Qatar, if you go to United, uh, and I keep going. Cultural what? Hmm? Yeah, what would you miss if you go to um, United Emirates? Ooh. I will miss uh, to my daughter. I'll miss my daughter, right? I will miss my daughter. I'll miss my daughter. I would miss my daughter. There you go. Okay, so that's who. Who would you miss? Hmm. Okay, so now the topic is to follow the exact structure as I send it to you on your WhatsApp. Okay. Take a look at the at the structure so you can follow it the way it is yes. on the WhatsApp. Hold on. Show you. So you have one thing, something, two people. So if we are talking about your daughter, what will you use? Wouldn't you say someone? 
I'll miss a lot. I'll really miss someone. I'll really miss. You cannot say something, right? If you're talking about a, pe a person. Um, <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> right. So you have to say someone that I really miss is my daughter. Someone. Someone that I really miss. Let's talk about that for a minute. These are called. Um, Hold on, right. nouns, 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 irregular, indefinite, indefinite pronouns, okay? Indefinite pronouns. So you should know about this already. I already said one, someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? Anybody? Somebody. Somebody. And, y eso Don't es intercambiable. Es yes. someone. And somebody oh, is the same thing, okay? The same thing. Yeah, you can change one for body, okay? As you can say something, okay? What else? Everything. Anything. Every, let's use any Every. first, any. Everything. Anything. Anything. And anything. I will do anything um, for love. Everything. Everything. I will do anything for love. So, okay. So we somebody. Can say, so we can say that uh, one, thing, one thing I really miss uh, could be no. uh, my pet. I'm sorry. Uh, finish your idea, Milker. Yes. Continue your okay. idea. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, in that case, uh, uh, we can say that uh, one thing that I really miss is uh, my pet. Because we are speaking about things. Mm. But if, are, are you aware that Americans, I mean, if you put a name to your dog, it's not a thing anymore. She and he. Uh-huh, is a he or a she. Somebody, someone, somebody, no one, nobody. Uh, everybody, everybody, anyone, anyone, anybody. <laughs> so it's the same thing. Okay, we're we're talking about the same thing. Now, when you talk about things, you go with something, anything, everything. Nobody. Uh, nobody. Yeah, it's already there. I espero que me estén comprendiendo que al poner una pleca wow. significa eso de oh. Okay, sí. oh, so no one yeah. or nobody. It's the same. Yeah, anyone. Both is the same. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's lo mismo, eh? Or is this one or is this body? Anyone or anybody? Anybody, anybody find me? Okay. Somebody what to love. Somebody? Right? Something, anything, everything. Let's talk about places. Places. Somewhere. Uh, somewhere. Uh, Sing. Anywhere. 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 Same thing. Over. Anywhere. Okay. Uh-huh. Everywhere. Flip, flip Everywhere. with Mac. Uh-huh. Flip with Mac. Everywhere. 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 There you go. Somebody yeah. somewhere. There you go. Somewhere, anywhere, anywhere, everywhere. Uh, and whatever. Nowhere. Whatever. Whatever. No, that's not oh. a no way. Nowhere? Is that that's not an indefinite pronoun. Only these are this is like when you don't want to say the name or you don't know the name or mm -hmm. the place. And, and it's very used actually. Where, where did you go last weekend? Where did you go last weekend? Somebody, yeah. um, someplace. Anywhere. Somewhere. Anywhere. We we went somewhere. We um, went somewhere. Where do you want to go next weekend, Yancy? Where do you want to go next weekend? On the beach. <laughs> On the beach. To the beach? Oh, you don't know? And uh, what if you don't know? And some, somewhere. No, then you say, eh, take me anywhere. Whatever. Whatever. Anywhere. 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 Okay. Anywhere. Mm. So so you've been so you've been to every beach in El Salvador, Jenny. <laughs> So you've been to every beach in El Salvador, Yanni? No. Oh, you say yes. 
<laughs> Only the vision in, in, in the oriental region. In, el cuco? Yes. Oh, el espino, okay. el cuco, only this. Oh, okay. So you've been everywhere in el cuco. You have been everywhere in the oriental part. It's not ori orient. It's, it's actually the western, western part of El Salvador. Okay. I've been everywhere. You hear? I've been everywhere. Okay. Do you know anybody in the classroom, Janet? Do you know anybody? Um, yes. No. We're missing something. Here. <laughs> We're missing something here. What? I, I, I don't understand. I mean, do you know anyone in the class? Gnosis. Do you yeah. know anyone in the class? In the class. Yeah. Who? I know to Sandra. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I know Sandra. You don't need the two. I know yeah. Sandra. And I know Joaquin. I now, know. if you don't want to say the names, what if you don't want to say the names? Okay. Que si no quieres decir el nombre de alguien, para eso sirve eso. I know everybody, teacher. You see, ves? I know everybody. I know everyone, teacher. I know everyone. You got it? Everyone. <laughs> Vaya. O sea, es que quiero que entiendan los ejemplos. Por eso les estoy dando esas ideas. Um, la última, ¿eh? Every one of them, every one of them. Every I know. Everyone. Look, I know. Every one of them. I know each one. I know each one of my classmates. Each one of my classmates. Cada uno de mis clases. Each one. Each one. Each one. What is the meaning? Sorry. Cada uno. Cada uno. And I'm sorry, that goes separated. La separada. Each if one you of. don't know Each everyone, one. someone. I know nobody. I know okay. nobody. I know none. Oh, oh, oh. I know none of my, none of my classmates. Oh, no. and, I know I know none of my classmates, and so on, guys. Uh, nowhere. I don't. Know, I don't know anybody. I don't know anybody in my class. Ahora, cómo sé cuál voy a ocupar si hay diferentes que nobody, no one. Consejo a este punto en avanzado ya. Escúchate y qué suena mejor. That's the whole thing. Okay. ¿Qué te gusta más cómo se escucha? Entre más corto mejor. Okay. So I know everything. No, everything. How do you things. say "todo va a estar bien"? Everything, everything is okay. 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 All is okay. Mm -mm. Va a estar. Everything is will be okay. Everything, okay. Will, okay. Be everything okay. will be okay. Will be okay. Oh, listen. Everything will be all right. <laughs> okay. How <laughs> about right. everything's gonna be all right? Everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right, brother. Don't you worry. Is every little thing is gonna be all right. Bob Marley said, sure. Come on. Teacher. Everything yeah. all right. Yep. Hey, who's that teacher? Joaquin? Right. Yes. What's um, up? Um, can we, can we say, uh, can we say, um, Everything is okay. If everything okay, everything is okay. Everything's yes. all right. Everything's all right. Everything's okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, we only have ten minutes. I'm gonna split your class in small groups so you can <laughs> questions to your classmates. Now, keep in mind you have to be very creative at this point. Uh, what would you miss? What would you? What is one thing? That's that's another way of asking. What is one thing? 
what is something that you will miss okay what is something that you will miss what is something that you will do if you went to canada what is one place what is a place you would visit before you die imagine that that's a good question what is a place you would visit before you die niagara falls Niagara Falls, yeah, they say it's beautiful. It's just water. I would rather go to. Uh, I would rather go to um, Argentina. The, yeah, the oh, the frontier between Chile and Argentina. Teacher, hey, I like to visit Machu Picchu in in Peru, Peru, in Peru. In Peru, that's right. Okay, we only have 10 minutes. So make questions to your classmates using that form. Look at the structure. I want you to use that structure, okay? I'll be there. Let's go just for 10 minutes. Yeah. Daniel and Daniela. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay. We'll start about the question, guys. We do it. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, Joaquin, Tell uh, me. what is the most thing would you, would you miss if you travel, for example, to the United States? Um, the, <clears throat> something I would like to do in my next trouble, in my next trip in the United States, I like to visit um, um, Mississippi River. Oh, wow. Yes. What about you? What? I think the most thing I miss um, really is give, give a lot of hugs, hugs for my family. To my family. Oh. Yeah. yeah, okay. What okay. about you, Daniela? We have Daniela and Daniel. Daniel, <laughs> Daniel or Daniela. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Daniel is a, the, the, the classmate, another classmate. Daniela or me? No, you would, you would miss when you go to another country? Well, uh, uh, I think is the something is I, I can miss is the passport because I can visit other countries. Yeah, I don't it's have for example. Yes. So, yeah. no, uh, be careful. <laughs> We're talking about extrañar, not perder. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Is a verb. Okay. Miss, okay. Miss is extrañar, no. Olvidar, no. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's En true. este contexto es olvidar, right? In this context. Yeah. So, miss, what is something you'd miss if you went to London? To another country. To okay. another country. Okay. The food, the your okay. bed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The, well, I think uh, the food, the pupusas, is is the thing the most miss when I travel other countries. 
The food of uh, the Salvadorian, Salvadorian food. The part of the world. Oh, I would really miss my sisters. Oh. Yes, of course. I don't uh, have sister. I have <laughs> one brother. <laughs> oh. Well, that's nice. Well, I don't say my, my husband because uh, I'm sure he will be with me. No? Yeah, no. <laughs> couple's goals. <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, Carlos. Um, who would you email every day if you were out of the country? I will mail to maybe my boss. <laughs> Your? My boss. Your boss? Yes, for, for, for work. <laughs> oh my God. Wouldn't it be? I can take a, a vacation without, uh, uh, without my activities uh, in, the work, in, the, in the work. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay, and now, hey, but, okay and now, Hayley, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, what is a place uh, that you will visit uh, the next Saturday? Uh, I play basketball. Uh, what is a place you will visit? Bef uh, you will be. You will will visit the next Saturday. <laughs> Uh, mm, I visited uh, Chalatenango. Look at your chat. A place I I visited place Chalatenango. A place I, I, I will visit. Like to visit. A place I will visit. Mm -hmm. Mar Mm. un lugar que me gustaría visitar uh -huh. el, 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 ajá, como el siguiente sábado uh -huh. I will I shall I tengo ok well, have you heard something about eh, teenagers that, that uh, don't, don't like to, to help their parents at home so they they like to go hanging around in metro central in las cascadas or yes, maybe small. In Bia, you know you do you yes. understand hanging around what what is the meaning of that phrase huh? 11 11 12 11 hours 11 hours yes I now I yeah. think there are 14 hours because I used to work for Avianca. So, uh -huh. so yes, right now are 14 hours. I'm not sure why that. Yes. So, yeah. No, it's well. Yeah. That's why I'm I'm not sure if I'm gonna try if I would like to travel to Spain or to another country because of the long time on the plane. It's, it's exhausting. For me, nine hours, it was enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I teach you. <laughs> but the plane, the, plane is big, the plane is bigger and this is. Yes, traveling to Europe, the planes are bigger, definitely. <laughs> I had then travel to Costa Rica or to Panama. Yes, there are small is one hour, yeah, one hour flight. It's comfortable. Quickly. Yes, yes, it's really fast. So I'm not that, sure that how many there. hours would be for the, Qatar. Probably. Uh, <laughs> probably the teacher. The teacher said, "Ask the teacher." How many are is in if uh, we're traveling? I don't know. I haven't even think about it. 
For Suiza, Suiza, Sweden, Sweden, are mm -hmm. 24 hours. It's actually 17 hours and 46 minutes. And so wow. 17, 46. But still, you leave today and you arrive tomorrow. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Probably three stops, right? Yeah, like maybe, three maybe three stops. Uh -huh. Yeah. Maybe uh, Spain or <laughs> or um, or you need Spain. You, think you need to go Spain to the states. You need Sorry? to go to the state. You need to go to the states and take an overseas flight. An international. What about flight. going to Colombia and then Spain? That will work. Uh huh. Because there are some people that doesn't have visa. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Actually, going to Qatar, you need the visa. Uh, no, American. I visa. don't know. I don't if know you're why. Going through United States, you need American visa. You need an an American an American mm -hmm. visa. Yeah, I think so. Anyways, hopefully it happens. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, let's go back. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's continue. I'm not gonna wait for the others. Let me know if you have questions. At this point, we're just starting the first section. When the noun phrase uh, containing a relative clause works as a subject. Okay, so this first part of the, of the phrase or the sentence we are saying is on the left side, let's say, of the verb to be. Tomorrow, we're going to see the opposite, which is very simple. <laughs> but anyways, so today, as a subject, um, one thing that I'll really miss. Hmm. Let me see if you got the idea. Um, Janet, what is something you would really miss if you move to Guatemala. Your microphone. <laughs> Your microphone. It's off. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Uh, I think I, I really missed uh my house, my, my own space, my bed, um, maybe my work, because I like uh, everything I do here. Awesome. Yeah. One thing that I'll really, or one thing I'd really miss is my job. Your job, not your work. <laughs> if you miss your work, it's because you miss the, the place, you know, the physical place. But if yeah. you miss your job, is the things that you do. Yeah, uh, the both things. <laughs> okay, no, of course, yeah, totally. Bien, chicos, antes de irnos, eh, este verbo les estaba causando problemas algunos. Okay, y si noté una cosa, algunos aún tienen problemas de comprender lo que se está preguntando, okay. Eh, o sea, no, no han captado esto en inglés aún, o sea, no lo han logrado traducir rápidamente en su cabecita. Entonces, ¿cómo corrijo eso? Hay que empaparnos de inglés a este punto, ¿ok? Just English. Listen to English. Eat English. ¿Ok? Eat English right now and try to understand it. ¿Ok? I just send you a, a song of, you know, an, an in excess song to your WhatsApp so you can get some culture. Okay, um, so and take a look at these examples. Try to make more examples. Uh, make the question for something. What is something you'll be nervous about? What is something you'll be nervous about? What are two people, okay, you'd email every day? What are two people you'd, you'd email every day if you went to another country? So get ready for tomorrow. Try to make these exercises so we can use them in the class okay okay, okay.
Practice. Thanks. Time fl time Thanks goes by. I'll Bye. see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.